what's being proposed is is the uh, essentially the successor to the health pass which exists now it's going to be called a vaccine pass and what this does is it basically turns the screws even tighter on unvaccinated people up until now people using the health pass who are unvaccinated can do tests and provided that they're negative they can still go into bars and restaurants and so forth it's obviously very expensive now for the unvaccinated because those tests are no longer free but at least it is in theory possible to have uh, to take part in daily life along with vaccinated people that will no longer be possible from january the 15th if this measure goes through, unless, of course, the estimated 5 million unvaccinated people in France decide to get vaccinated. And that is what this vaccine pass measure is intended to do, is to win over uh, those who are still unvaccinated. First of all, of course, Annette, it's doubtful that those who've uh, already made up their minds would change their minds at this point. Perhaps a few will. Uh, but in any case, we do know that asymptomatic spread happens between vaccinated people as well. And so uh, it is obviously a big gamble by the Macron administration to bet everything on this vaccine pass. But the government is saying, well, uh, we hope that that will be uh, our way of avoiding further uh, lockdowns or curfews, as has happened in some neighboring countries, notably the Netherlands, uh, restrictions also, of course, in Austria and in Belgium. So the French government is saying, well, it's hoping that a vaccine pass will be a way to avoid those kinds of stricter measures.